Jeez, I'm not scared. I'll have you know several of my close friends are ghost peppers. Hey, uh, I couldn't help it over here. You said you have some uh, close friends who are ghost peppers? I beg your pardon? I'm asking you who. Um, Jeff? Jeff? Jeff the ghost pepper? Uh, yeah. Hey, Jeff! You know this guy? <laughs> what? I've never seen this guy in my life. Uh, I meant the other Jeff. Hey, other Jeff! Get over here! Listen, can we just move on? Oh, yeah? You like that, wouldn't you? Well, we're not letting you off the hook that easy. Not until we teach you a little something about ghost peppers. Hey, I know plenty about ghost peppers. Name three things you know to be true about ghost peppers. Go! Oh, okay. Uh, they're super hot. One. They hurt your mouth when you eat them. One and a half. They, uh, are quite spicy. All right, enough. You see what's wrong with this picture, Grapefruit? You're putting all us ghost peppers in a box. You know, there's more to us than just being hot. We're as diverse as the rainbow, pal. I bet you didn't know that Steve here is not hot at all. In fact, he's a world-class mathematician. Wow, so what does he taste like? He tastes like a calculator. And Ricky over there, he plays basketball. Let me guess, he tastes like a basketball? No, he tastes like a normal ghost pepper, dude. They're not always related like that. Ah, I see. Guess I got a lot to learn about ghost peppers. No kidding. Now then, we doing this challenge or what? Go ahead, pick your pepper. Okay, which one of you is the hottest of all? That would be Gary. What's up? Great, I'll take Gary. Confident, I like it. How about your grapefruit? Look, I don't need to prove my masculinity to anybody. I'm sure you don't. Correct, I don't. Yeah, okay. I don't. I know, I'm agreeing with you. I am very manly, okay? Now kindly tell me which ghost pepper is the least spicy. Least spicy? Mm, uh, I'm gonna have to say Dirk, I think. Yeah, tragically, he was, he was born without any edge to him whatsoever. Hello. Now that's my kind of ghost pepper. Come on over, Dirk. Okay. So here's how it's gonna work. Pretty simple. Each of you takes a body of ghost pepper. First one to reach for this glass of water loses. Sound good to everybody? Yep. Yep. Yeah! Okay. One, two, three, bite! Yep. How you doing, little apple? Fine, thank you! Not too hot for you? Because Dirk is not spicy whatsoever. No, spice isn't the word I'd use. He tastes more like, uh, what is that taste? It's difficult to place. Oh, it's probably sewer scum. I beg your pardon? I'm a plumber, so that taste is probably sewer scum. I've been in the sewers all day, as per usual. Why did no one mention Dirk was a plumber? We figured you know. Yeah, what else would somebody tragically born without any edge to their personality be? A skydiver? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna drink the water now, but not because it's too spicy, okay? I'm still in if I drink the water, right? Sorry, Grapefruit, but rules are rules. Ah, I can't take it! I'm gonna hurl! That would be an instant disqualification. <laughs> Little Apple wins! Hooray! Whatever, who cares? Let me have that water! Oh, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. Wow, that's a water sample I brought home from work. <laughs> Hey everyone! Today Little Apple and I are tackling a classic, the Chubby Bunny Challenge! Oh yeah! Let's get this thing started! Uh, who are you? Yo, I'm Chubbs the Bunny! I'm here to take on all challengers! Let's do this! Um, Chubbs? We were just gonna do the Chubby Bunny Challenge the normal way! You know where you try and put marshmallows in your mouth and say Chubby Bunny with your mouth full? You kidding me right now? Everyone knows that's dangerous! You could suffocate! Get these marshmallows and your rules out of here! There's a trash can right over there, but I guess that works too. Listen, Chubbs, with all due respect, we have this covered. So we're just gonna do the Chubby Bunny Challenge without a literal Chubby Bunny involved. Hold up! Who said I was chubby? Uh... The name is Chubbs, not chubby. No relation, all right? This bulk ain't fat. This is pure muscle. Y'all about to find out the hard way, because here's how the challenge is going to go down. Pull a slip of paper out of this protein shake container, and we go head to head. That's the Chubbs Buddy Challenge, and that's what we're doing today. Understand? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I got rabbit ears, yet I still can't hear you. Yes, Chubbs, we'll, we'll do it your way. Fan flipping tastic Now pick your first Chubbs Challenge. Um, okay. Well, looks like I got sumo wrestling. Huh. Well, I don't know about this. I've never heard of it. First rule of sumo wrestling, be alert at all times. Wow. Okay. A lot of holes going in the walls today. Ugh. 
Uh, I'm okay, by the way. Thanks for wondering. Okay then. Cool. So uh, I guess that does it for today's video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Not so fast. You haven't challenged Chubbs yet. Everyone has to challenge Chubbs. You know what? I think I'm good. No matter. I'll pick it for you. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Sumo wrestling. <sighs> Look, you're obviously very aggressive and very skilled at sumo, but... <laughs> Flawless victory! <laughs> okay, well, we've all had a lot of fun! Let's call it a day! You kidding me? I'm just getting warmed up! Chubbs ain't leaving until Chubbs actually gets challenged! Okay, I challenge Chubbs to never speak in the third person again! Silence! Select your next challenge slip! Uh, no way, dude! It's just gonna be sumo wrestling again. I assure you, there are other options, like dunk contest! But be warned, this bunny got hot! Um, is there a slip of paper that says sweep up the broken glass you just littered everywhere? No, but there is bowling! Beware to anyone who dare challenge Chubbs! They're bound to strike out here! Dude, let's make a break for it! Agreed! We gotta get out of here! Leaving so soon? I told you Chubbs has excellent hearing. Now, the time has come for you to select our next head-to-head -head challenge. Do it now! Hey, jeez! Hole in the wall? Oh, my favorite! As the name suggests, the challenge is to make holes in the wall. Yeah, I feel like you've been doing that all day, dude. Silence! Now brace yourselves! Whoever makes the most holes in the wall wins! What do they go? One, two, wow. three, four! Um, yeah, I think he's gonna win this one. Wait, I have an idea! Five! What? What? Really? You've made five holes already? Uh, yeah! They're just really small, cuz, uh, you know! I love it! Finally a challenge! Five! Six! Ten! Seven! Eight! Don't get comfy! I'm about to catch up! 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14! Uh, wow! Nice one, Pear! Thanks! I guess you could say things panned out in the end. <laughs> really, dude? Sorry. Well, they say the Chubby Bunny Challenge is dangerous, but I didn't think it would be dangerous like this! You said it, Little Apple. Also, I'm pretty sure this is a load-bearing wall, so we should probably get out of- ah! That's right! Today we're doing the Korean Spicy Noodle Challenge! Basically, we got a bunch of these spicy ramen packets. Apparently they're insanely hot! Nothing I can't handle, I'm sure! Sure, but you're good at this sort of thing. Being able to eat spicy stuff is like your superpower. Me? I can barely handle mild salsa! Really? You can't even handle medium salsa? Dude, even the mention of medium salsa is too spicy for me to handle. Oh, wow! Okay then, are you, you okay doing this? Hey, I'll try anything once. So, tell me what you're doing here. You're boiling the noodles, yeah? Yep, and now that they're ready, I'll add the sauce. But the spicy stuff is inside these spicy powder packets right here. So all we gotta do is add this spicy powder to the noodles, right? Exactly, so let's see here. One packet, two packets. Um, dude? Three packets. Dude, how many spice packets are we doing? Well, I was thinking four. Ah, oh, heck, call it five. Five packets? Isn't this stuff, like, unspeakably hot? Well, I guess so. You can do as many or as few as you want. Me, I'm doing five. How many are you gonna do? Oh, boy. Okay, uh, let me just try one and see how that goes. Oh, it's in my eyes! Oh, well, I should have warned you. Be careful opening those things. Oh, ah, oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's some powerful stuff, all right. I'll be doing just one packet, thank you very much. I don't need to prove myself. One it is! Now we stir the powder into the noodles and... Ah! Ah, ah! ah man! Well, I guess I shouldn't have left that window open, huh? That breeze is really wrecking havoc on things. You think? Sorry about that. Are you okay, Pear? Well, I'm temporarily blinded. Can you just point me in the direction of my bowl? Sure thing. Here's your bowl, and here are your chopsticks. Now all you gotta do is stir your powder into the noodles. Okay, I'm stirring. 
I can't see what I'm doing, but I'm stirring. Oh, man! Seriously? How many windows do we have in this kitchen? Um, little apple. I've been stirring a lot, and I can't seem to get all the powder in. Just keep stirring, Pear. Trust me. Okay, I got mine in. Same here. And my eyesight's returning, so that's nice. Well, I guess there's nothing to do now, but give it a shot. Let's get our noodle on. <sighs> hmm. Not bad. I honestly was expecting it to be hotter than this. How's it going for you, Pear? Same here. It really isn't that hot. Pear? Pear? You should swallow. You're turning color. <clears throat> oh, oh, man. You were right. Swallowing really helped. Uh, yeah, I think the worst of it is past. I'll be just... <laughs> it's coming out of both hands! <laughs> yo, yo, yo! What's up, fruit lovers? It's your boy, Little Apple. And today, I'm hosting the What's in My Mouth Challenge. My tongue is in my mouth. Did I win? No, Orange, it's not. Saliva, words, motorboat noises. It's not a question, Orange. Burps! No! Actually, yes! <laughs> no! Orange, you swore you wouldn't make today's episode weird! I never get to host these things! Hey, uh, can we just get this show on the road already? I mean, is all this banter really necessary? Definitely necessary, Cory! We have to do it! <laughs> I get it. Got my backside chopped off. I walked right into that one! Alright, time for the rules! Both of you are gonna get blindfolded! I'm gonna put something on your tongue, and using only your mouths, you have to guess what it is. First one to guess it wins! Whoa! I didn't realize this was a tongue-based challenge episode. I better warm up! Hey, that's a good idea. I should warm up too. Oh my gosh! What'd you do? Stop it! Whoa, bro! That's a little intense there. Well, what do you expect? It's not like he can be a large intense. <laughs> <laughs> Night. Ah, we are starting, okay? Blindfolds on. Okay, here's your first item. The first item is gum. Um, thank you, mysterious voice. You're welcome. Um, who are you talking to, bro? You guys can't hear that? How could we with these blindfolds on? Orange, that makes no sense and I think you know that. Never mind about the mysterious voice comment. Start guessing. Hmm, I'm gonna guess it. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Orange, did you just swallow that? You weren't supposed to. Whoa, we weren't supposed to swallow? Cory, what'd you do? Guys, that was gum. Oh, I guess gum. Orange wins. Nobody asked you, mysterious voice. Seriously? Who are you talking to, bro? I don't know, but I definitely think he's going a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, dude. That's my half-brother. No! Oh, not only are both of you super annoying, but congrats! You're gonna have gum in your stomachs for like seven years! Really? It stays around that long. Nah, you'll actually poop it out long before then. How? Dude, look at me. I don't have a butt. Uh oh, I forgot. Yeah, I think you're screwed, Cory. No! Enough! Can we please just try to get through this episode before it gets any weirder? Put your blindfolds back on. Excuse me? What do you mean by back on? I wasn't insulting you, you buttless weirdo. Now put the blindfolds on. The second item is... Spoon! Oh, oh my gosh! This episode is so weird! Okay, you two! Guess away! Quark? No! Fish! No! Spork! Warmer! Trout? Colder! Spoon! Ding, 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 ding! We have a winner! Cory wins! <laughs> it was a spoon? Well, I could have sworn I had a fish in my mouth! Nope! Spoon! Are you sure? Yes! I put it there myself! Huh! Okay! If you say so! What the? Little Apple, what the heck is happening? Uh, don't worry about it. It's just fish perception. It happens from time to time. Seriously? I know I haven't been around the kitchen very long, but this is absolutely in uh, Okay, now it's officially the weirdest challenge video ever. Way to go, Little Apple. They let you host an episode.
Minnesota, you let it get totally off the... Ah! Oh, thank goodness. It was all a dream. Oh. Oh, today's the day I get to host the challenge episode. I, I can still make sure it doesn't get weird. Don't count on it. <laughs>